Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Heather. I'm a homeschooling mom of three kids, elementary and high school age. Today I'm going to be doing a weekly plan with me in my Erin Condren Daily Duo slash my Vertical Weekly from Erin Condren as well. Today is April 14th and we just got back from vacation. We've been gone for, I don't know, almost two weeks and it has it was a wonderful vacation but I am so behind on all of the things that I need to get done and we have just a ton of unpacking and things to do this week. I honestly had planned originally to come back and immediately get back to school. Why did I think that that was like a thing? Why did I think that we were going to be able to get right back into homeschool? <laughs> the day after we get back from vacation. Anyways, so this is going to be for the week of 4.15 through 4.21. And this is the new Erin Condren pen. This is in the Bold Blooms design. Tomorrow is EC Insider launch day for the ECLP. And I'm super excited. I have my little list of things that I want to get. I'm really, really excited about it. I did go through and review the brand new Bold Blooms Daily Duo, which is absolutely amazing. The most exciting thing is that they have added this weekly overview for the week. And so you now have a full two pages of line space. Then you have the week at a glance and it is undated, which I didn't even notice when I was going through it, but I've seen so many videos now of people talking about how it's undated. I was planning on just using it for the next week because what I do is I divide my lined page here, it's after Sunday, and I do a brain dump. So now I have space to do a brain dump and then more space and then a weekly overview. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to use this yet. I'm thinking I'm going to do home management tasks in here because it I don't think it's enough space for me to plan out my week, but it will give me space to get some things down on paper. We'll see. I am actually going to be getting the A5 size and the Evolve for my planner for next year. When I get all of that stuff, I will definitely share it with you. But right now, I need to figure out what I have going on this week. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing homeschool this week with the kids. We may get to Wednesday and start doing like math. We're winding down our homeschool year, so we are just about done with most of our subjects. Everything uh, like history is done for Jack and Lucy. Emma has a little bit more history left. Jack and Emma are done with their English, except they have to finish their final drafts of their research projects. Emma has a little bit uh, more foreign language, Spanish she has to finish, and chemistry she has to finish, and she has a little math. Jack has a little math, but I think everything else he's pretty much done with. Lucy will continue to do math. So anyways, I do need to write down some plans for end of year and then uh, also homeschool planning for 2024, 2025. I thought I would get more of that done before before we left on vacation, that did not happen. Okay, so I'm going to do my brain dump list and then we will move into the vertical weekly and I will show you how I set that up. Okay, so this is my brain dump. I feel like there's so much more that I actually need to do. I'm not, I'm not sure. A lot of this, like the spring cleaning checklist, my mom actually came through and cleaned all of my house while we were gone, which was amazing. She did like the windows and the windowsills and the walls and baseboards, all of that stuff. There is some organizing that I still have to get to, but I kind of have to go through. I have not unpacked yet completely. I've started doing laundry. I've done like three loads of laundry, but I still have a ton more laundry to do and then get things kind of organized and put away. I have to switch out the winter stuff. <sighs> I'm crossing my fingers. We left when we were it, we were having a nor'easter in Maine. 
when we left. And so we had to bring all of our winter gear with us just in case we broke down or something happened. So I have all of the winter stuff that I kind of need to go through and get cleaned up and put away because I mean, if it snows again, it's the middle of April right now, April 14th, if it snows again, I'm just not gonna leave the house. That's that's the decision that I've made. I have a bunch of work to do because I have not been here at uh, the beginning of April. My Facebook group, Maine Homeschool Network, has been on pause for the past couple of weeks, so I need to get all of that stuff set up. Okay, so this is my brain dump list. Now what I'm going to do is transfer stuff over into my weekly vertical planner. Now, I did a video last week, well, it's actually going up tomorrow, and I did this several weeks ago, but when you're seeing this current video, it was last week, about what I'm planning on ordering for the Erin Condren launch, and I'm just going to write that stuff down. I will leave a link for that in the description box, and once I get everything, I will definitely share it with you. Yeah, actually, first, before I do that, I'm going to do the weather for the week. I don't think I mentioned this yet. Once I do my brain dump, what I do is I take all of those things and I plug them into different days depending on what's going on. This week we don't have anything going on really outside of the house, no appointments I mean, so we should be pretty good to get quite a bit done, I hope, especially if I am not planning out homeschooling, which I'm not going to do uh, this week. We may end up doing some homeschooling. Like I said, we're almost done with most of our homeschool, so I should be able to, you know, the kids should be able to just do their school if we decide to, but we are all exhausted and probably need a vacation from our vacation. So let's look and see what the weather is this week. So I think for my EC order, let's see. I am going to get the A5 Evolve Daily Duo. I'm gonna get the seven by nine Weekly Vertical and the Evolve. I'm going to get, oops, with goals, the seven by nine Compact Vertical in Evolve with goals for Emma. I'm also considering getting the other little planny pack in the Evolve design, although I really, really love this design as well. I saw somebody, I wish I could remember who I saw do this, but I saw them put their Kindle in here and it fits perfectly. And so I actually want to get some new sticky notes um, for annotating books and highlighters and you can stick your Kindle, your sticky notes and your highlighters right in here and just take this with you. Obviously it's not super protected, but it is more protected than this, which is what I throw in my bag whenever I go, <laughs> whenever I go places. So I want to look at the sticky notes. I want to look at the Evolve design for the line notebook. I don't know if they have a line notebook or if they only have a productivity notebook in the Evolve design. If they only have the productivity notebook, then I might get another one of these. This is just beautiful, beautiful. The, in this Bold Blooms line notebook. I love those line notebooks. Sticky notes, petite lined. I also need to do simplified because I typically will buy notebooks from Simplified when they have their spring launch. So I know that they went on sale last week, so I need to look at that. Sticky notes and then stickers, maybe. Washi, maybe. They actually redesigned their washi and I totally missed this in my box when I went through it. Um, I can't open it right now because I need some <laughs> scissors. But this washi is like the same width as the washi strips that I use in my book journal for, let's see, for the top here. I usually just get these from a sticker sheet, but you know, maybe for next year, I will just use these washi strips, this washi tape instead of the washi stickers. I don't know, I'm unsure, we'll see. I have a ways before I <laughs> need to set up my book journal for next year. I think that's all that I'm going to put there. So I will put, even though it's not a to-go, I'm going to put ECLP order here. I will put grocery. I'm not gonna go to Sam's Club tomorrow, but I probably will go to the grocery store. And then maybe simplified. And then I have up here, I need to do, let's see, budget and bills. I need to go to the bank. 
I need to go to the post office. I didn't even write these things down. <laughs> I need to list out homeschool end of year. And then I also want to look at, whoops, 2024, 2025 homeschool planning. And I, what I really need to do is just make lists. I have a lot of lists, but <laughs> When I say lists, what I mean is I need to compile a list of the books required for a couple of different curriculum companies that I'm looking at for books for Jack and Emma for next year. Specifically, I'm thinking about the Guest Hollow Economics, Personal Finance, and Government course. Emma has already done a half credit of government, so she does not need that, but some of the books I think would just be interesting for her, and so I'm considering just combining her and Jack. Technically she only needs an English credit next year, but she will be doing more than that. We're also thinking of maybe some sort of big project that she can work on throughout the year, like this, she's been designing stickers for the past six months or so, and so maybe creating some sort of a business, and then that course would be very applicable to what she would be doing with business as far as economics and personal finance and understanding the money side of things. We'll see. So I need to do that so that when I sit down to do homeschool planning, probably later in the week, I will just already have those book lists done. I think my problem is that I sit down to start working on these book lists, and then I'm trying to research the books at the same time. Time, but it's really difficult for me to navigate because everything's so visually based now online, which I like, but I also sometimes just need a book list <laughs> with descriptions, which I cannot find at the moment. So let me see. Budget and bills. I'm not going to do floors, spring cleaning checklist. Okay, so tomorrow I also would like to do get the Florida pictures on computer and then I also want to do my Real Simple magazines and just pull out anything that I want to keep and put it in my home management binder, unpack. And you know what? That is probably plenty <laughs> for tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, this week is gonna be a busy one, but I'm glad I'm not doing homeschool. All right, tomorrow I have my ECLP order video going up. I've actually already done that, and my April monthly reset I've just put up, and I'm scheduled that. I am going to do filming here. So Tuesday will be a big filming day. I also want to do Instagram and YouTube for ECLP launch. Tuesday, I am going to do a lot of filming, so I'm also going to put spring cleaning lists. That was terrible. Sheets and blankets. I need to finish unpacking on Monday, and I think that I've gotten most of the laundry done. I will finish up any, I think maybe I have one or two loads to do tomorrow, and then I can do sheets and blankets on Tuesday think that's what I'm going to do. And then filming. Okay. And then Wednesday. Oh, you know what I'm going to actually do here? Goals check. And maybe if I get that done, then I can do spring refresh part two. <laughs> I already did part of my spring refresh, but because I was getting ready to go to Florida, I feel like April is just kind of a, we're just erasing it off of the calendar because we were gone the first couple of weeks and then the last couple of weeks, I'm mainly just focusing on finishing up homeschool by the end of the month. That's my plan anyways. I mean, all of the stuff that I do with the kids is done besides like helping Lucy with her math. Emma and Jack, their, their subjects that they still have are independent from me. So my year is pretty much done, thankfully. So I haven't really sat down to do like really sit down and go through my action plans for the quarter. I'll leave a link for the first part. It'll make more sense if you watch that. <laughs> than listening to what I'm talking about here. Um, okay, Wednesday I'm going to do washing the floors. Oh, you know what? I do want to do Sam's order here and then pick up here. Plan dates for spring cleaning. And my spring cleaning includes the house but also homeschool stuff. <laughs> so I probably should separate that. Uh, plan homeschool clean out and plan garden and seeds. 
if I do a garden this year. I did one last year, but the weather was terrible and we had a huge slug infestation. I know that I need to put raised beds back in my garden if I'm going to do a garden this year. And I don't know if my husband will have enough time to get boxes built before I have to start planting. So we will see, we will see on that. I'm also going to on Wednesday, or maybe I'll do it on Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. No, I'm gonna do it on Wednesday. I'm gonna do plan content for Patreon, MHN. That's my Facebook group for Maine homeschoolers. Uh, MHN and YouTube, and then map out homeschool planning for next year. I've already done a couple of videos for homeschool planning, but I kind of go through my process every year. And so I do have a system that I follow. And so I just got to figure out where in my process I am so that I can uh, get those dates on the calendar. Oh, and the other thing, hmm, I do need to film. Oh, I've got to write this up first. Okay, 2023, I'm not going to be able to film that this week. 2023, 2024, curriculum reviews. And this is just a review of the resources that I've used that we used this past year and how I feel about them, how things went, if there is anything that I would change, all that kind of stuff. So I want to get those videos done. I think that I will do one for each grade or age that I'm doing right now. Similar to how I do my curriculum choice videos, I will just do a review of all of Emma's work for the year, a review of all of Jack's curriculum for the year, that kind of thing. Uh, for meals this week, what am I going to do? I'm going to do some sort of chicken thighs meal because my mom got me chicken thighs and then we will do leftovers here and then after I go grocery shopping, I will figure out what I'm going to do for the rest of the week, which I'm not sure yet. Um, okay, so Thursday, I have my live stream at 2.30. I will put appointments for cars. They both need appointment. Okay, I'm not going to put anything for the end of the week. I don't typically plan out too much on the weekends unless we have stuff going on. If we're gone Friday afternoon, I would know that I won't have much time to do stuff on Friday. It will just be my general tidy and uh, regular home management stuff. Thursday, I will most likely do a lot of work depending on, you know, I put edit on Friday, but I need to put that here because I won't be here most of Friday. Okay, I think, I think this is everything. So here is my week at a glance. I do my brain dump here and then I kind of assign all of these tasks to different days. And then, you know, once I start my daily planning tomorrow, which I do every day, I will write out all of the tasks in certain time blocks and then make my to-do list. So that is my plan for the week of the 15th. I'm really excited about placing my EC order and I can't wait to get all of the new stuff and share it with you guys once it comes in the mail. But yes, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was a little all over the place because I'm a little all over the place today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to hear if you ordered something on launch day or you have ordered something for the EC Life Planner launch, the Teacher Planner launch is just around the corner and I cannot wait to get mine for homeschool planning for next year. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.